So this is going to be kind of a long one, but I want to get my thoughts on the Armored Core gameplay preview. Um, check out Young Yeah's channel. He was um, has some extensive gameplay on this. He got a chance to play it at Namco. Our new mech action game, Armored Core Six: Fires of Rubicon. We hope it gives you an idea of this title's mood and gameplay. In a future, Are we in the highest part? Our travel is commonplace. Our story okay. begins in a distant Just star check. system on the fictional planet Rubicon 3. Our protagonist, an independent mercenary, is smuggled into Rubicon in search of a mysterious new substance. So they give in a really basic, basic mech to start with, but I can see the customization and see where it'd be cool just to mess with this one's colors. Hopefully you get like a, um, you could mess with the armor. So it's like you can have the upgrades, but you don't have to change the way the armor looks. Stages will let players make the most of their AC's exceptional movement and attack capabilities. Area seems really big. He looks really old. Ain't got no glowy bits on him or nothing. Look at those effects. Nice detail on the mechanical parts. Here we go. Area seemed really, really big. Follow the markers. All right, so you got a uh, mission objectives and getting Metal Gear vibes. For both traversal and combat. Hopefully, these missions are really detailed. Like you got to go in buildings and stuff and come out and everything. Yeah, they'll be coming soon. They got us on the run. Stuff blowing up the pieces from the previous mechs are still there and everything take full advantage of your ac's mobility to freely navigate the environment the flight uh it doesn't remind me of this game but i just got to think the fight to the air uh anthem man dimensions beyond the 2d poor anthem multiple lock on Does the blade have his? Uh, gotta look again. Use vertical catapults to gain even more altitude and launch into the action from above. A little Mario action. I've seen some of these bosses. These bosses are fun. I like the way everything is moving too. It's got like this nice flow to everything. Against tougher enemies, nice like damage to their floating. Are you moving to temporarily for the shooting from over here, shooting you, jumping up, shooting? <laughs> it feels it feels really good. This is called stagger. Any attack received in this state is considered a direct hit. Uh, staggering. 
best time a lot of these games is kind of having in there like you keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them in certain spots and then you stop them from doing stop them from hitting and you can go in and go crazy and then they get back up and continue hitting again i wonder where that concept really started from you exchange various parts of your ac at will including weapons frame parts such as the head and core and so this is the part i didn't want management. to see but <laughs> I done got little snippets of it so much. Assembling an AC to fit your own place. Is there still a weight? Yeah. So they, they have everything there. The weight limit and all that and everything. I wonder if they're going to uh, how heavy the impact is when you go into battle this time. Because before when you when you put something on that was too weighty for um your power unit and you got into battle, you was really feeling it. It was just like you couldn't move or dodge or nothing. Going into in battle with the wrong bill. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti corporate force. Your attack will focus on the eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary subgenerators. These should be your first targets. This concludes okay. the briefing. Good luck. Detailed mission elements. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Main system, activating combat mode. Mm. Is there a first person mode? He dropped in a first person. First, get through all that dust. I'll part of the cinematics, the but is there a first person mode? Here, we're up against an enormous weapon that eclipses our AC in size. This is really cool because the AC units themselves is already big, right? about these big battles in some of these games is like it's not hard to defeat confirmed strider leg compromised it's going down the bigger they are the harder they fall man yo that's actually really cool man that's actually really cool Can you hit any of the legs? Some missions will see you partnered up with ally ACs. Definitely need to have co-op missions. Objectives will range from protecting targets and information gathering to the annihilation of enemy forces. 
So them had that heavy laser right there. The mech was blinking of the yo uh yo uh reticles was blinking before those attacks came. Classic enemy type. See some customization right there too on the uh on the players, man. Some of these battles, I mean, you get hit so hard. The cool thing, though, you can get, you can use their weapons, though. Well, I don't know about this guy's here, but some of the, the basic weapons you could use. Be cool if you could use this, though. So here's your uh, kind of Dark Soulsy, crazy types of enemies. Presenting a challenge for even the impossibly powerful AC. Yeah, you're gonna have to know what you're doing. See all that damage just now? And a good command of assembly will often provide the first step to overcoming even the most daunting foes. What's his name? We invite players to take on this one for themselves and see what else awaits. I was just... Thank you for watching. That yeah, concludes so... our introduction to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. We appreciate your continued support and look forward to seeing you at launch. Get some good pause action going on. So yeah, that was uh, the gameplay from Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Definitely gonna be picking up um, and getting. Uh, the combat seems to be fun. Gameplay seems to be fun. I wonder how many missions is going to be in the game. Uh, what type of missions you're going to be able to do. How many of those missions is uh, uh, co-op? um and will we get like some versus matches going on so i definitely would love to play my custom mech against somebody else's so can't wait to find out the builds and everything else that they have to offer um when the game drops here next month uh in about a month now yes about a month now so but yeah that's the video go back and check it out in 4k it looks pretty clean and awesome hopefully they show us some more i want to see some more customization uh, not really I, I really just want to wait but i can't wait to color and customize my mech again man it's been so long since we got to do it in armor core 6 which that's one thing i wanted to note i had said in one of my previous videos that um i think i said this in my last armor core video that i have not put out yet that there isn't really a lot of mecha games that is not correct there is a lot there actually is a lot i'm going to do a video on some of them too before Armor Core comes out because there's a lot of different mecha games that was expired by Armor Core and other ones that are really awesome as well. But anyway, no one be repeating myself too much in the video. I got two Armor Core videos I gotta put out. <laughs> Peace. Get in there!